Carlos Mariano. Raul Mariano was my brother. He beat me up and raped me. I'm going to kill you. You so much as go for your handkerchief. I'm going to put a bullet right through your head, you understand? I think everyone is overreacting to this thing. <laughs> Mariano has full diplomatic immunity. You have a license to kill. You can pop me any place, any time. I don't like that. The suspense is killing me, isn't it killing you? that low. What? There's a woman who just threw her trash off the fire escape and landed down in the alley. What are we doing here? I mean, why can't we be staking out some society killer at a polo match or something? They don't have polo matches at 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock? It's only 3 o'clock? Oh, give me a break. What's that? Tell you in just a second. He's not our boy. You sure? Look, at, they call little Cosmo little Cosmo because he's six foot five inches tall. What we're seeing here is a four foot nine inch wino. with these killer drug dealers totally unreliable did we or did we not get it from an unimpeachable source sporty james is a very impeachable source huh. well, he knows not to cry wolf he knows that i tell you it's a low-class killer keep his girlfriend <laughs> lady sergeant hunter You are Sergeant Hunter? Yes, I am. I am Carlos Mariano. I'm sure you recall the name. Raul Mariano was my brother. He was my favorite brother. What do you want? Why are you here? Ah, you will be Sergeant McCall. I am the cultural attache with the Kuruwayan Embassy. Does my presence disturb you? That depends on why you're here. I would like to speak to you, only for a moment. Perhaps you can guess why. No, I can't. I'm going to kill you. I thought that you should be properly informed. You want to try it now? No, 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 no. Please, senorita, not now. In my own good time, and I will give you generous warning. Let me give you generous warning. I don't like death threats. I take them very seriously.
You should take this seriously, Sergeant Hunter. Very seriously. Why don't you just shoot me instead of playing these kid games? I will not expect you to understand. How I kill you is a matter of great importance. It is a matter of honor. I will not kill you the way you killed my brother. Defenseless, unaware, and helpless. Defenseless and unaware? Your brother was a rapist and a killer. Why don't you get in your limo and get the hell out of here? Okay, just relax just for a minute here. If I see you again, you so much as go for your handkerchief, I'm gonna put a bullet right through your head, you understand? Now that's something I learned from your murdering brother. You will hear from me. A postcard will do. This isn't funny. Who the hell's laughing? So why don't we cuff the guy and take him upstairs? Well, you heard him. He's an attache. He's probably got diplomatic immunity. <laughs> Here we go again. Let's go find out. The area code for DC. 202. Is there anything on Cosmo yet? No, not yet. Yes, I need the uh, number of the United States State Department Office of Look, Protocol. McCall, we got to get this guy. He's too damn scary to have out there on the street. Yes, you can. Well? They have to call back. Hunter. You're staking out Cosmo again tonight, right? Yeah, only if I get some sleep. And if McCall makes her batch of potato poopies. Be careful. Of what? You know of what? Lash LaRue? Come on, he's all smoke. You're so macho. Sleep tight. Buckle up. So, did you get some sleep last night? I tried. How you doing? What do you mean? Well, I mean, this Carlos deal. I mean, he's not dredging up bad memories for you, is he? Yeah, well... My problems are in the past, you know? He didn't say he was gonna try to kill me. No, wait a minute. He's not gonna kill anybody. I mean, he's... He's conducting himself here like some sort of uh, South American fraternity prank. Who do you think you're kidding? I bet you five bucks you went home last night and cleaned your gun for an hour. Fifteen minutes. You think he's working on this by himself? Hmm. My guess is his father, the General Isimo, knows about it. Maybe even ordered it. If he's working on this alone, Maybe you ought to go talk to the Kuruguayan consul. No, I'm not going to talk to the Kuruguayan consul. That is a dead end. That is a waste of time. Remember the last time? I'm going to go talk to him. Hey. A lot of headroom in that car. Think it's Cosmo? Let's go take a look. Police! 
Up against the wall. Come on, move it. Come on, over here. Attaboy. Spread it out. Oh, what's your name? Kerwin Sipes. I, I live here. Kerwin Sipes. Well, Mr. Sipes, I apologize. I think we got the wrong guy. Hey, cop. You looking for Cosmo? He ain't so stupid he's gonna show up here. Lady, if you know Cosmo, please tell him this. We have to catch him, otherwise we're gonna lose our jobs. Thank you. Good night. Uh, Mr. Sipes, it was a mistake. We're very sorry. Sorry. Oh, words are cheap, lady. You, you slam me up against the wall. You, you frisk me, and then you say you're sorry? You can keep your damn sorry. I'm gonna have you both up on charges. Oh, well, let's see. Kerwin Sipes. Sipes, 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 Sipes. You know, this is a very familiar name. Sipes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know that name. You should probably run. Uh, uh, look, look. Uh, anyone can make a mistake now and then. Let's both just uh, forgive and forget, okay? Yeah. Okay, Kerwin, we'll forgive and forget. But I highly recommend that next time someone offers you a sincere apology, you accept it out. Yeah, right, right, right. I, I, we're both sorry, right? Good. Yeah. Still nothing on Cosmo? Nothing on Cosmo. Well, Mariano has full diplomatic immunity as we thought. Either of you guys call the Office of Protocol in Washington? Yeah, I do. You two want to come into my office? Who the hell is Carlos Mariano? Well, it happened uh, six months or so ago, Charlie. Uh, before you came into the department, it's a very long story. Well, make it a short story and tell it now. L last year, there was a uh, rape homicide at the Kurguayan consulate. Raul. <clears throat> Mariano was the attaché. Related how to this one? His brother. When I interrogated him at the consulate, he tried to make a date with me. I turned him down. The guy showed up at my house. And uh, he beat me up and raped me. I'm sorry to bring up painful memories, Didi. What happened to the guy? Well, he had diplomatic community, Charlie. Uh, I punched him out, and he shows up at my house a couple hours later, and he shoots me. And Mariano? Well, the embassy uh, hustled him back to Kuroko. End of story. You didn't go down to Kuroko after. Captain, they didn't charge him with a thing when he got back down there. He killed a woman here. He raped me. He practically killed Hunter. If ever there was a, a walking argument for summary execution, this guy was it. I don't believe this. You went down there and killed him? Charlie, the guy was going to shoot me in the back. So rather than give him a second opportunity to do that, yeah, I killed him. His father, General Mariano, didn't want all this stuff coming out about his son, so he invented some kind of cover-up and said the guy was killed in an accident. What about this Carlos Mariano? Well, he shows up in the parking lot yesterday, threatens my life in front of Sergeant McCall. Mariano has full diplomatic immunity. If he hauls off and shoots you, the best we can do is ask his country to give him a free plane ride back home. I know that, Charlie. I plan to do something about that. Like hell you do. I'm going to call the State Department and have them handle this. Hey, wait a minute. Come on, Charlie. The State Department is a waste of time. Believe me, they have other priorities. Suppose I tell you to ignore him. I think under the circumstances, Charlie, you won't ask me that. As was reported in all of the Kodokwaiyan newspapers, Raul Mariano was killed tragically in a hunting accident. And as to the stories that you choose to tell about a member of the presidential family, well, I cannot imagine what motivates you, a woman in your position, Senorita McCall, to say such things. How about the truth? Is that enough motivation for you? The truth. 
Have it your way, Senorita McCall. It is not my way, it's the truth. Let me ask you something. What happens to you, huh? What happens to your cushy little job here if Sergeant Hunter is forced to kill your boss's son? If Senor Hunter so much as approaches Carlos Mariano, we will have your State Department take the necessary steps to deal with him. And I suggest that you plead with Senor Hunter, in, not with me. Have you talked to Carlos Mariano? Of course. Would you like to speak with him? Yeah, I would. Well, you didn't have to go far to get him, did you? Do you know this woman? Yes. In view of Sergeant Hunter's prior relationship with my family, I paid him a courtesy visit at his place of work, and Senorita McCall was with him. Yeah, the most courteous death threat I ever heard. That is her claim, Carlito. Did you make any such threat? Certainly not. Oh, come on, Carlos. You're blowing your whole act. What about all that talk about honor? I'm afraid that... My presence disturbs the senorita. I made no threats. Perhaps you need the help of a professional who deals in emotional problems, senorita Macola. I am trying to be helpful. Yeah, well, you're not making it, pal. But you are giving me a great lesson in diplomacy. All life is an education, senorita. By the way, Mr. Mariano. Your brother was a creep, and he deserved to die. How did you get in here? I can get in any place. Let's talk, Carlos. No, 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 Carlos. Sit down. You have me at a great disadvantage, unarmed and naked. Carlos, you have a license to kill. You can pop me any place, any time. I don't like that. I do not intend to pop you, Sergeant Hunter. I intend to give you every opportunity to defend yourself. Only then will I kill you. Carlos. I am not going to play your childish game with you, you understand me? Now, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go down to the airport, and you're going to get on an airplane for Kirkway, and you're not going to come back. If you don't get on the airplane, I'm going to shoot you. I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> Nothing to say about that? I am a man of action, not of words. So am I. Then good day. to be on that airplane. Ah, I called you this morning. You weren't home. Where were you? Well, I paid a nice morning visit to Lash LaRue. I told him to get out of town or I would punch his ticket for him. Hunter, that's not a good idea. It's been the rest of your life in the glass house, you know? Did he listen to you? I hope so, for his sake. Hunter. Hey, Hunter. Joey, Joey, Joey. How you doing? Little cousin will get to see a guy about some money he needs to get out of town. So if you want to get him before he splits, this is going to be your only chance. Where do I find him? How about, uh, uh, how about, how about 500? No, 200 if he shows. This is dangerous stuff, man. I think it's worth something risking getting on the wrong side of Cosmo. 400 bucks, that's it, Joey. Where is he? Oh, you're my man. You're my man. Okay. That's only this. Now, I want to see the money first. Now, you bring me the money, 
I'll take you to him, okay? It doesn't work that way, Joey. You gotta deliver him first. Hey, this is special, Hunter. I mean, you want him? You meet me first with the money, okay? And I don't want to be seen together. You know that, uh, that factory, my, uh, my uncle, uh, Van and Wilton? Yeah, the one that the INS uh, shut down? You meet me there. And Cosmo's all yours, okay? Got it. Okay, buddy. Give me the money. Who's the rest? After Hunter appears, you will get the rest. You don't understand, man. I just prostrate Hunter. I'm gonna have to leave this town far behind. After tonight, Hunter will be dead. Oh, what the reason I got split? Split, man. Give me the money. Give me the money right now, or the, or the deal is off. I'm gonna call them right now, and I'm gonna call the whole thing off. Hunter. Carlos, are you still in town? So, you decided to stay and give me a surprise party, huh? You think this is a joke? No, I think that's a 44 Magnum. You have a gun? Well, no, come on, you know police officers always carry guns. Is the safety on? <laughs> I'll let you wonder about that. Your choice, my friend. In 15 seconds, I intend to draw my gun and shoot. If you want to try for your gun sooner, do so. Carlos, you've seen way too many John Wayne movies. Honor does not go out of style. And if one is a man of honor, there are certain things that can only be settled this way. You have 10 more seconds. I also like the way your eyes narrow, just like the Duke. That's very good. Why don't you draw? I don't want to kill you in cold blood, but if you insist on being a coward, I will. You're gonna be dead in 10 seconds, Carlos. No, you will be dead in five seconds. I know how to handle a gun. So do I. Then prove it. No, you see, I'm afraid not. I don't have diplomatic immunity. Your time is done. Move it. Up against the boxes. Move it. You are a man totally without honor. You haven't been listening to a word I've said. All I hear is the whimpering of a coward. Yeah? Well, let's whimper on down to the squad car. Move. Yeah, all right. No. No, I'll talk to you later. They're going to release him. So what else is now? Can't hold him without the consulate's OK. They say no. I'm gonna call Washington. Have someone come down here tomorrow. We're gonna get this thing settled. That guy's a nut. Yeah, you do that, Charlie. I think everyone is overreacting to this thing. Overreacting? First, you do not charge a man with full diplomatic immunity. You can detain him, but you cannot charge him. The man's lucky I didn't kill him. And you'll be lucky if the Uruguayan embassy doesn't file harassment charges against you, Sergeant. So I suggest you stay on the listening end of this. This guy, Mariano, he can't be completely above the law. Suppose he wasted 20 people in Pershing Square. We'd demand that his country recall him. That doesn't work. I've gone through that. We'd make him persona non grata, and he'd be out of here. Good. Make him persona non grata, because I don't want to kill this guy, Charlie. You'd better not kill him. Uruguay is a country of enormous strategic importance to United States foreign policy. So maybe you better have this guy Mariano declared persona non grata before things get out of hand. Uh, why? What has the man done? 
He's mouthed off a little, flashed a gun for which he does have a permit. He's a soldier hunter, a man who learned to swagger at an early age. It would be best for you and best for your country if you would just ignore him. He's not gonna let me ignore him. Don't you get it? We've got a big problem here, Charlie. I mean, a big one. What is it? You're not gonna believe he's following us. Great. to arrest me. Oh, yeah, I know that. Don't I know that? Spread him! We got company. Stay right there. Get out of the car. Come on. I am a member of the Uruguayan diplomatic legation, sir. Good. Turn around. Oh, I see you people carry your honor with you, Carlos, huh? Coronel Ramirez, ¿qué está haciendo usted aquí? Lo mandó mi padre para vigilarme. Su padre está preocupado por usted. Speak English, will ya? Todo está bajo control. Usted no tiene por qué estar aquí. Sí, ya veo que todo está bajo control. Who are you? I'm Colonel Hector Ramirez of the Curaguayan 2nd Cavalry Unit. Oh, you're here on maneuvers, huh? What I am doing here is none of your business, señor. Concealed weapons and reckless driving are my business. I am a part of the consulate staff, senor. Oh, you're a part of the consulate staff, not the embassy? The consulate staff, that is correct. Do me a favor, tell him the bad news. We happen to be experts on diplomatic immunity. The bad news is that you're under arrest. Yeah, turn around, come on. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Come on. ¿Qué hace usted parado ahí? Por qué no me ayudó? I have no reason to assist you. I don't want you here. And in any case, the young lady had a gun pointed at me. And I will tell your father that a woman prevented you from helping me. Would have prevented you too. Tell my father there is no need to send anyone to assist me. I am here by my own choice, and I will do what has to be done by my own rules. Put him in the car. And what about me? Oh, you see, Carlos, you can go. You've got diplomatic immunity, remember? And my gun? Are you serious? You should understand by now, Hunter, that I am nothing, if not serious. I'm gonna keep your gun. You think that by taking the gun, you can avoid facing me? You should have got on that airplane. This is Colonel Hector Ramirez. I want you to book him on reckless driving, carrying a concealed weapon, resisting arrest, and assault on a police officer. Put him in a holding cell for me. I'm gonna go see a man about a deportation order. Senor Hunter, if I leave, there will be someone to replace me in 24 hours. You are accomplishing nothing. Are you friends with General Mariano? I am on his personal staff, yes. Good. I want you to do me a favor. Tell him to send his son a ticket home. Otherwise, I will send his son back to him in a body bag. You sound very confident. Very. Perhaps too confident. Carlos Mariano is a distinguished graduate of our Academia Militar. He has won honors in martial arts and marksmanship. There is no one, I mean no one in the Curaguayan army who can match him. As his brother distinguished himself in the fine arts, Carlos has distinguished himself in the manly arts. I would not be so cavalier if I were you, senor. Thank you so much. Listen, you know, maybe you ought to go on up to Montana or something. Go on a little fishing trip. Montana? What do you got against Montana? That's not going to do any good. He's going to go up there and find me, or he's uh, going to wait till I get back. No, I think the best way to do this is just meet the guy on Sunset Boulevard at high noon. I'll tell you what. You put together a poker game with six of your buddies for witnesses, you know? I'll blow them away. We're always so practical. There he is. 
That's Cosmo. Got him. Yep. Good. Good work. Thanks a million. Now we get to go on to the next case. Well, how come you're still alive? Carlos give up? <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Well, you know, actually, I haven't seen the guy in the last six or seven hours. You know, you really should think about going someplace. Oh, I am. I'm going home to bed. Good night. Hey, Hunter. Yeah. Listen, why don't you, uh, Come sleep at my house tonight, huh? You stay on the couch. It's nice, cushy. It's real comfy. You never know what corner this guy's going to come popping out of. Carlos is not going to come popping out of any corner. He's not going to pop out of a tree on top of me. That wouldn't be honorable. Carlos thinks this is Dodge City, not Los Angeles. Good night. Lock up, OK? You disappoint me. Sacale la pistola. Hey, just a second. Get your hands off of that. What happened to the good old fashioned Western shootout in the middle of the street, huh? Dije que le saquen la pistola. Dame la pistola. Pongan en las esposas y amarren en las piernas. It's funny, Carlos. I was just telling my partner how honorable you were. Con prisa. You're not being followed, Hunter. I needed those men to get you into the car. You will not be seeing them again. What's the matter, Hunter? Suddenly, this is not so amusing to you, huh? Where you take it, man? You will know soon enough. So now what happens? Now we wait for daylight. High noon, huh? Just daylight. I want you to see me when it happens. And I want to see you. You know, camping is something I never quite got around to doing. You're regaining your sense of humor. 
I'm optimistic. Air's fresh out here. Nobody's dead yet, and we have the rest of the night to talk. There is no need to talk. Afraid you might learn something? I am afraid of nothing that you might say. Well, at least you didn't kill me in cold blood. Difficult for you to understand, is it not? You know, Carlos, when I went down to Kurogway, I was gonna kill your brother the first chance I got. Walk right up to him and pull the trigger. Which you did. No, that's not what I did. I gave him an opportunity to defend himself. Just like the opportunity you're giving me. I'm not interested in your apologies. But he refused that opportunity. And that's when I realized I could not kill a human being in cold blood, Carlos. With all the frustration and all the anger and all the planning and the feelings of revenge that I had, there I was with my automatic pistol jammed in your brother's face and I could not pull the trigger. Can you believe that? It had nothing to do with honor. It had everything to do with me realizing that I was a civilized human being. Well, with those feelings, I turned and walked away. And that's when your brother went for his gun. Yeah, Carlos, your brother was gonna shoot me in the back. Well, I turned just as he got off his first shot. And that's when I killed your brother. My brother was a gentle man. He knew nothing of guns. He was an artist, a poet. Your brother was a coward. Whatever he was, you killed him. He had no way to defend himself against a trained man like you. I do. He was a rapist. <laughs> well, that is too funny. He could have any woman he wanted. I found my partner on the floor of her bedroom. Where she had invited him. No, where he invited himself. I knew my brother and I loved him. I did not know your partner. I believe him, not her. Your brother was a liar. No more talk. Finn here. Lieutenant, he's not here. The whole place is trashed. There's furniture broken. I don't know where he is. What about his car? Is it there? Yeah. Damn. That makes an APB next to useless. All right, look, I'll do whatever I can at this end. You go on home, get some sleep. You might need it. I'm not going to go home and get some sleep, Lieutenant. Send a fingerprint team over here on the double. I'm going to wait for him. You got it. You are asleep, my friend. Very good, Carlos. Don't let the enemy sleep, huh? What's the matter? Couldn't you sleep? I could sleep like a babe if I thought I could trust you. But you know nothing of honor. So I cannot trust you. You're right. I'm gonna kill you the first chance I get. I know that. So I will forego this sleep. Too bad. I won't. Good night. allowed you to enter here, and I have shown you the courtesy to hear you out. So do not use that tone of voice again, Senorita McCall, or you will be asked to leave. When you said that I couldn't possibly have known that two of your security people entered Sergeant Hunter's home, I, I lost my temper. That won't happen again. But I do know that they were there. Their fingerprints are all over the place. And how? Could you possibly know the fingerprints of my security personnel? Es una mentira! ¿Me entiendes? You are lying! When they apply for guns to carry on our streets, we register their fingerprints. Now, those fingerprints, fresh ones, are all over Sergeant Hunter's home. Sergeant Hunter is missing, and there's clear evidence of a violent struggle. Those two men do not enjoy diplomatic immunity, so we came here to take them into custody. Not in this consulate you won't. And both those men are here. And if you wish to arrest them, you will have to do it outside these premises. Sir, we are asking for your cooperation here. Now, one of our officers has been forcibly kidnapped unquestionably by Carlos Mariano. But Carlos Mariano is here. 
Now, here in his quarters, here in the consulate. Fine. Give us five minutes with him, and then we're out of your hair. And since Senor Mariano is here, there is obviously nothing to be gained for you to talk to him, is there? He isn't here, and you know it. You are refusing to cooperate in the investigation of a felony involving people that you are responsible for! Pasenlos por la calle! He usa su arma! Los dos! Ambos tienen armas! And he does not speak your language. So I advise you to leave quietly and immediately. Hunter. Get up. Your cuffs. On your feet. Come on. I am ready, but I will wait if you are not. You are dizzy, perhaps? Don't worry about me, Carlos. Let's do it. Over to the rock. It is a good day to die, Hunter. That is a Sioux Indian expression. Did you know that? Yeah, I saw the movie, Carlos. Let's go. Come on. The gun is loaded. Put it in your holster. I want to check it. There is no need. I have seen to it. Left hand. And do it very slowly and very wisely. I'll wait. You are learning something about honor, my friend. Yeah. Here we are at last, huh? Face to face, one man against another. Your move.
Get up. You said you would kill me. Why don't you? Now, that was talk. This is reality. Come on, get up. We're going to the hospital. Well, call. you've done everything you could. The State Department's grilling the consul. We're trying to cover the bases. Hey, Hunter. I've been camping. You all right? Yeah. Where's Mariano? Well, that's a long story. Charlie, you better get on the phone and call that bureaucrat from the State Department. I think we got ourselves a real live persona non grata. Your attention, please. Flight 6 for Rio de Janeiro, now boarding at gate 15. How is your hip? I've got five stitches in it. Why are you here? To make sure that I am really going? No, Carlos, I'm here to make sure you don't go back. There was only one way you could have assured yourself of that. You failed to do it. I don't think I made a mistake, do you? No. My father will understand. He understands the code that I live by. It is his code. I have concluded that it is also yours. Final boarding call for flight 11 to San Pablo, Curacao, gate 7. Goodbye, Hunter. Let's hope so. Hey, 